I don't even know anyone that the, age. The officer mm. knows that the Walmart CCTV footage might contain valuable information for identifying the suspect, and getting eyes on it sooner rather than later is critical. The quality of the CCTV video isn't this ideal, but the sucks. officer can clearly make out a man who fits the description, followed by a woman falling down in the aisle. Yo, that nigga looks like he OD. Of this being part of an online trend seems to track when footage of the woman being hit gets posted on Snapchat to the account of 19-year-old Talon Lowry. Dumbass. Information that the police are not aware of yet. As officers work some to dumb track day Talon, room, nigga, they'll bro. eventually Every learn trip. that his posts will reveal Damn, another goofy. victim. Here, what's good, job, ladies and gentlemen, kings, queens? How y'all doing? Y'all feeling today? We got Killer Vlogs is murder on Snapchat. Now, what the hell do you mean this nigga vlog is murder on Snapchat? So we gonna find out, my niggas. Uh, this is brought to us by EWU Body Cam. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro. If you haven't gotten into him, go check out a community post, man. I put a new comment on there also, you know what I'm saying? Get yourself familiar with what's going on as of right now. Anyways, let's get smooth to the video, shall we? You pulled up, you recorded it, pulled the trigger, and then drove off. We had two people call us and say that they saw a video on Snapchat of a white male by the name of Talon Lowry <laughs> shot. Um, someone sitting on a bench. Sir, someone's been shot, man. When police receive multiple calls reporting What's a shooting that was posted online, they have no idea who they may be up against. But the Snapchat posts of a deranged teenager may unlock the motives behind this gruesome tragedy. And though they didn't know it at the time, what are... this video is only one of several documenting a twisted crime spree. Oh, okay. That was what the same. Why am I so... Ah! I just got punched really hard. Okay, do you know who it was? No. What the no, fuck? Like pain, uh, a Snapchat pain or whatever it is. Two oh, this thing was just doing shit. Okay. On the evening of October 19th, 2000. Nigga, I was like, why is, what, what am I, what, can we stay on topic? I'm like, what is these different cameras? Like, okay, but now it makes sense. Let me show my ass up. Let me 2017, police were called out to a Walmart in Gainesville, Georgia, after a woman had fallen victim to a vicious attack. When the officer arrives on the scene, he's unaware if the attacker still lingers inside. Where'd the guy go? Did y'all um, see him? Or? Nobody has actually seen where he went. Somebody said he went towards the shoe department. So nobody knows so really where he went. All right. I looked in the store. It's a blonde haired curly dude. White guy. No one saw him run out of front. I got one of our associates in the back. Look for each exit on the side. Careful now, y'all. still in here. Or he made a break. All right. I'd say he probably ran out. Yeah. As the officer approaches the victim, Danielle, it becomes clear that the culprit they're dealing with is an unpredictable and troubled individual. Hi, Hi there. Hi. I'm Officer Seawalt. Hi. You gonna make it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just, like, Stop playing. Like, you're, you're what? I just got punched really hard. Okay. Do you know who it was? No. You can't tell if she you know or just no, white. Not her. at all. And I'm. I don't know anybody that would punch me. My bad, bro. I meant I meant red because she's, you know what I'm saying. I love all my, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to everybody. I'm a flavor type of nigga. I don't know about that one. I'm not dabbling in that one, but you know what I'm saying. Remerse, I'm sorry. I apologize. There seems to be okay. Like, where were you when it happened? Right, right, here, right there. Right this spot. So he come around the corner and, and just. Well, I was coming kind of around the corner. He was walking like this, and then he just. But he had his phone. Bro, take your kids into the other aisle. Damn, that was his shit. So he didn't say anything or anything. No, he just didn't say anything, and then he just like all of a sudden went boom. Like niggas really on weird hard. shit, bro. But he didn't run away. He held his camera. I don't know him. I don't even know anyone that Dude. age. The officer huh? knows that the Walmart CCTV footage might contain even valuable information for identifying the suspect, and getting eyes on it sooner rather than later is critical. The quality of the CCTV video isn't this ideal, shit but the sucks. officer can clearly make out a man who fits the description, followed by a woman falling down in the aisle. Yo, that nigga looks like he OD. Of this being part of an online trend seems to track when footage of the woman being hit gets posted on Snapchat to the account of 19-year-old Talon Lowry. Dumbass. Information that the police are not aware of yet. As officers oh, work some to dumb day Talon, room, nigga, they'll bro. eventually Every learn trip. that his posts will reveal Damn, another goofy. victim. How's it going? 
Hi. I think it's one of them. Uh, I don't know if y'all have seen the YouTube posts going around here lately where the people just walk up to a complete stranger and cold cock them. Yeah, I, I'm going to know if he's serious yeah. too. Jackass. Evidently he got her good. Like, yeah. the head, she was coming down the aisle. Oh, that just sounded, the I ain't gonna lie, that just sounded attack is in line with a disturbing online now. trend known as the knockout game. In this disturbing trend, Assailants would pick an unassuming victim and attempt to render them unconscious with one punch. Fucking clowns. All while filming Goofies. the attack to post on social media. Who the fuck do y'all think y'all are? Saitama, you fucking jackasses. I'm, so, I'm sick of the goofy shit going viral. And y'all niggas be egging that shit on. Y'all the fucking problem. Y'all wanna leave a little like on it and shit? Y'all a bunch of bitch ass niggas. Y'all, y'all awesome damn goofies. How about that? Hmm? Are you entertained by shit like that? Buckaroo, you're a clown too. All right, no remorse. Fuck that shit is corny. The EMTs cleared and released Danielle to her sister's care. I would be fine if I would just like to. Is that just her head or does she have a knot? We're not even looking. Gonna have to decide she got hit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ma'am. Thank you for all your help. No worries. Despite Danielle appearing to be a victim of the knockout game on Talon Snapchat. His videos didn't initially start with such violence and only escalated after smaller deviances. For starters, his Snapchat shows him littering and recording it. In this video, Talon can be seen threatening cattle. Get out of the way, you mother The shit that makes motherfuckers feel cool is fucking... Danielle wasn't the only Pussy, victim what? featured on Talon's Snapchat. Ah, ah, oh, oh, what happened? Oh, oh, my bad. Talon would post a new video only two weeks after the Walmart incident, but this one was far more sinister than his last Snapchat. We had two people call us and say that they saw a video on Snapchat of a white male by the name of Talon Lowry <laughs> shot someone sitting on a bench at the Texaco at North Hall. 911 also shit. received a call Fucking from a witness clown. who was at the scene at the time of the shooting. Someone's been shot, man. Where at? Where? Uh, um, where the text go on, uh, in, uh, State Route 11, uh, State Route 11. State Route 11, Texaco. Yes, sir. Uh, what else is near that Texaco? Uh, there is, uh, No Pun Road. Okay. And, uh, Jim Hood Road. No Pun, okay, okay. Um, the dude videoed on his phone. He was in a burgundy truck. Okay, is the guy who got shot still there? Yes, sir, he's here. He's on the ground. I'm on the phone with him right now, ma'am. All right. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's on, the, he's on the ground right now. All right. Now, what about the guy that left? What kind of vehicle did he leave in? I don't know. He pulled up, he recorded it, pulled the trigger, and then drove off. Police arrive at the Texaco, and when they reach the victim, he can be heard gasping for air while attempting to respond to their questions. What's your name? Brian Ramirez. Brian Ramirez. How old are you? 18. 18? Yes. Do you know the person that shot I you? I do not know. Okay. Do you, did you recognize the truck? I did not. Brian Ramirez, an 18-year-old employee at Texaco, was sitting outside on a wooden bench during his break when he was shot. An ambulance arrives and you Brian is just transported be chilling, to the bro. hospital. The concrete is stained red, and the remnants of Brian's bloody glasses, name tag, and wallet are all strewn about. His mom arrives at the scene, but her son is already gone. This is his mother. Okay. She wants to know you what happened. You mean from the He's scene or? Gunshot wound. And he's en route to the hospital, oh, so she can go there. The shot fired by Talon Lowry would ultimately claim Brian's life. After his cruel and senseless oh, murder was posted son, on Snapchat, yo, this police really knew mean. who they were looking for, and it wouldn't be long before they located oh, Talon my gosh. Lowry. I just never understand, bro. I never understood, like, niggas doing shit for clout. Yo, what the fuck, son? The peep the yo, the things I've heard people do for the sake of clout is actually just like yo every time it is just fucking mind boggling my nigga. How the fuck are you a real human being? I never fucking understand. What the fuck just doing shit? Man, oh boy, I, I'm not about to get the rent, bro. It's fucking dumb, man. Remarriage, bro. We have a possible address off of Highway 17 on Peppermint Drive peace, that right. our deputies are going to check out. We're less than five minutes out. Uh, if you want to, you can go ahead and get in your vehicle and come on out of there. We got a lot of cars, and I try to get up in that driveway. 
Officers, assuming Talon is still armed and dangerous, prepare to face possible confrontation as they move in for his arrest. That's it. That's it. So the truck is there. At, at yeah, his, make sure that they know that he has an AK-47. So. Tell them that he's got an AK-47, please, ma'am. Okay. Do what? We're, let, we're letting him know. Have they, have they, they got him yet? Have they talked to him yet? No. They just found the truck just now. At Vice Hall County, I've got the Talon Lowry subject detained at this time. Radius clear, 2325. With Talon Lowry now secured and detained, investigators begin to piece together the evidence against the 19-year-old. Multiple people, including Talon's childhood friends, are brought in for questioning, and what they say will paint a picture of the troubled teen, providing insight into why he'd commit such horrific acts. Yeah, I, I love to hear a reason. Like, what? He's always just been weird. Evidently. It's not that, like, because he's quiet. Right. Because, like, we hang out with a bunch of quiet people, but Talon's just always, like, been too quiet. Talon's always kind of been, always kind of a little, little weird or different than most people, but... What, what kind of other stuff has Talon put on his Snapchat before? I think he was trying to seek out attention or something. Because, like, he, I, don't, I don't guess he really had any friends. Like, I, like, none of my buddies, like, we never hung out with him no more like that. Mm -hmm. But, like, he just didn't doing stupid stuff. Like, he put, he put a video on his story of him shooting a cow. Sure, I've seen that. Mm -hmm. Shot a cow. The officers turn their questioning to the pressing matter at hand, the Snapchat of the murder. Yeah, I didn't actually see the video on his story. Mm -hmm. I was in the bed, but two of my buddies, like, they climbed cell phone towers and they were together, and they both have Talon on Snapchat. Investigators now get a chance to hear from Talon himself. They waste no time cutting right to the chase. Help me. You Mr. Lowry? Yeah. What's your first name? Talon. I have a feeling that you know exactly why we're here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about it. Okay. Well, actually, like, what? Why do you think you're here? The fuck, dumbass? Wake the fuck up, moron. No, I don't think I should have done You don't think, so huh? Place. You were at the gas station today, mm -hmm. right? Fucking idiot. Old. Yes. F-150, right? Those gas stations have, have videos. Yes, ma'am. Right? We have those videos. Oh. Right? We also have the videos of your Snapchat. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's why we're here. Okay. Law enforcement was also able to obtain Talon's phone records, which ping him at the Texaco gas station at the time of the murder. It also provides tracking information that shows he That's was nasty. active on Snapchat during that tracking, time. Uh... The investigators have him cornered. So, what happened at the gas station? Clout, like, yo, bro. Ah, man, I'm, I'm not getting over that shit. So, that was you in the video? Yeah, yeah admit Where'd to it, dumbass. Like, the now, fuck? Did you have a reason to do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
as well as two counts of aggravated assault and possession of a firearm. What are the charges, bro? I don't want to hear nothing else. He pleaded nigga. not guilty by reason of insanity yeah, I... and was diagnosed with right. schizophrenia. You fucking clown. However, the evidence of his crimes was enough to bring him to trial. Yep. On February 2nd, 2023, uh -huh. Talon was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 25 years. He's currently held at the Augusta State Medical Prison. You're gonna give him 25 years to rehabilitate? Man, shut the fuck up and stop this shit. Oh my gosh, I'm sick, yo. One thing I'm very damn sick of is hearing niggas charges fucking... Oh my gosh, bro. Niggas get pity, fucking pity charges. Don't have bullshit out the fucking window and stop playing. 25 years that you can make a comeback. This nigga will still be, what, fucking... Oh, man. This nigga, just over 40. Given a chance, uh, another chance of life. Stop it, bro. Don't wait a fucking key. He's stupid ass. Nobody did, bro. Let me get out of here before I really get upset, bro. Um, this is probably my last reaction for the damn day. Man, these type of videos really piss me the fuck off, son. Anyways, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Links in the description. Get in tune. Get in tune with the gaming channel, Twitch, Discord, you know what I'm saying? Y'all take it easy. Have a good rest of y'all day slash night. Good buh 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 buh. Good buh.